Welcome to another video. Today, we're gonna be covering the top five hardest Terraria bosses. We're going to be going in order from easiest to hardest. All these bosses will also be the master mode versions of the boss. This list will also be ranked according to the weapons that you can actually get before fighting the boss. So no cheesing in this list. And keep in mind, this is going to be all my personal opinion. So if you disagree with my list, be sure to put yours down in the comment section below. But without further ado, let's start off with number five. In at number five, we have master mode wall of flesh. Normal mode wall of flesh honestly is not hard whatsoever. You can kill it with anything like a B gun and quite literally 200 blocks. But see master mode is where everything changes. In master mode the wall of flesh becomes so much more difficult. The difficulty curve of the wall of flesh is insane when playing master mode or expert mode terraria. It goes from using basic weapons to having to use the strongest weapons you could possibly get in pre-hard mode and building a platform almost halfway across hell just to have a chance at defeating master mode wall of flesh. This is usually the first boss people get stuck on when doing a master mode playthrough and it's probably the first boss I got stuck on when doing a master mode playthrough as well. And that's where the wall of flesh takes the number five spot. In at number four, we have Plantera, specifically master mode Plantera. Now this boss is fairly hard on its own, but it has the same situation as the wall of flesh. The normal mode variant isn't too difficult and you can defeat it without being too prepared but once you hop into master mode everything goes up a notch. It goes from a boss that's probably a 5 out of 10 in difficulty to a solid 8 out of 10. This boss becomes insanely fast and can almost one shot you. Come on are you kidding me? Plantera is absolutely devastating. Her speed, her attacks, all the tiny little projectiles she ends up shooting out deal so much damage and that's why she comes in the number four four spot. In at number three, we have Duke Fishron. Now you could argue that Enraged Plantera is harder than Duke Fishron, but we're not going to take the Enraged version of those because that would honestly skew everything up. But Duke Fishron is a fairly hard boss for the stage of the game that you have to fight him in already. Now imagine that, but put that into master mode. This boss deals a crazy amount of damage to the player. He probably has one of the most insane AIs. You have to be super good at dodging bosses to fight Duke Fishron. He's easily one of the hardest bosses for me, and I think a lot of you could also agree that he does deserves the number three spot I give him. In at number two. Number one and number two are going to be quite debatable, but for number two, we have the Empress of Light. The Empress of Light, which was introduced in the Journey's End update, is by far my favorite boss. Be sure to put down your favorite boss in the comments down below. I actually want to hear what your favorite bosses are. But the Empress of Light is the most bullet hell boss. She's probably more harder to dodge than Duke Fisher on. And then take that all and multiply it by 10. By putting it in master mode, you get a complete bullet hell mayhem of rainbow that you can barely dodge and that will almost certainly one shot you without the proper gear. Now along with this, if you really want to get pedantic, you could say, all right, what about master mode Empress of Light during the daytime? That could probably take the number one spot. But once again, since we're not doing enraged bosses because that would mess up the list, Empress of Light takes the number two spot. In at number one, do you want to guess who we have? We have our main man, master mode Moon Lord. Now I was really debating whether Moon Lord should take the number one or number two spot. I'm still not really sure, but I think I'll give Moon Lord the benefit of the doubt. He's probably stronger and more hard to defeat than Empress of Light at the stage of the game that you're supposed to beat him in, if that makes sense. Especially Master Mode Moon Lord, it becomes extremely hectic. It's very hard to keep up with Moon Lord because there's so many different attacks coming at you all at once. With different bosses such as Duke Fishron, he has very large attacks that are somewhat easier to dodge, but Moon Lord has eyeballs flying everywhere everywhere all over the screen. He has his main laser, he has the health leech, he has the other things that he shoots out of his eyes. You cannot beat Moon Lord without taking damage. If somebody can beat Moon Lord without taking any damage, I'll subscribe to your YouTube channel. I will drop you a follow. If you can do it and prove it to me, I will send you a follow. I'll shout you out as well because I think it's impossible. I genuinely think you can't really beat Moon Lord without taking any damage whatsoever. And that's what I think personally separates Moon Lord from the rest of the bosses is, is that he's just so hectic and he's so hard to avoid. And that's why I give him the number one spot. Well, all right. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to check out another one on screen. I know I usually don't do top fives, but if you want to see more videos, get this video to a thousand likes. I'll be sure to do more top five style videos. Consider subscribing to the channel. Join our Discord in the description down below. Once again, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Peace out.